I'm Morgan Gans Pedersen, and you're watching Rovers Chat. Hello, and welcome back to the Rovers Chat YouTube channel. I'm sitting down just for a quick preview of Rovers' pre season schedule with everything set to get underway this week as Rovers made a trip to Atkinton Stanley on Saturday. Thought I'd sit down and have a look at the fixtures, see what we kind of want from pre season, see what we're going to expect as it obviously builds us into the 23-24 Championship season. Before I start, remember to hit subscribe down below. We really appreciate all the support. And leave a comment on your thoughts on pre-season as well. Like I said, these interactions always help us to like, comment, do all that stuff, and subscribe as well to see every bit of content we put out. So like I said, six friendlies for Rovers. Starting off with two 60-minute games at Accrington on Saturday. Now, I think this fixture is more of Rovers just keeping that local link together rather than it being a proper test for Rovers. I'm not doubting Atkinson's ability, but John Doe Thompson wants to kind of improve the quality of the teams we face. And you'll see that as we go along in pre-season, really. Atkinson, obviously, we made a lot of money with them last year for doing this friendly. They get all that money. It helps them. So I have nothing against the agreement. I enjoy going to Stanley every year. I'll be there in the terrace on Saturday as well. I think it'll give Rovers a good fitness test, two 60-minute games rather than a straight 90. So that's 60 minute for 22 players plus maybe a few sub-appearances for the young lad. I think it just gives them the chance to be involved and it gives everyone the chance to build the fitness. You know, we need these fitness building games without Sigurdsson and Tronstad as well, I believe. So you're expecting a few of the young lads to be given a go and get 60 minutes in a Rovers shirt, which always helps. I think the fixture builds up, like I said, it's extra level of fitness maybe gets them a week ahead and you've got the Austria camp coming up on the Monday obviously so then Rovers make that trip out there on the Sunday start on Monday and then you've got the friendly against the Austrian Bundesliga side who I think will give Rovers a good test two 90 minute games there so that's fitness again building up uh, we know John Doe's so insistent on fitness so these games will really help them get back to match fitness ahead of four friendlies that are coming up and Hartberg will give us a test, you know, they did all right in the Austrian League last year. We've played Austrian opposition before in SV Reid, and that were a tough test, and I think this will be as well. And then Rovers come back to England and have Friday, Saturday games two weeks in a row, which will be an interesting one. We're used to playing midweek and then playing on a Saturday, but Friday, uh, they'll go to Fleetwood, Friday the 21st, and then on the Saturday, they'll play Barnsley. So two League One opposition games. Fleetwood, obviously, had an average season in League One last year. We know them before from playing them in friendlies, but they'll give us a good test. Scott Brown's got them quite well drilled, and I think they'll press us as well, which is the main thing, as will Barnsley. So this is two sides that'll come and play the pressing game. We can use a counter-attacking style like we expect Rovers to do next season. So we're playing opposition that will suit us. They'll come and give us a game. They're not going to sit back and let Rovers knock it around as much. I think Fleet will maybe will more than Barnsley, but... Barnsley will still give us that tough test in terms of pressing, whereas Fleet will might let us knock it around. So it's two playing styles, uh, two different 11s as well. So 90 minutes in the tank for a lot of players, maybe 70 and give some of the young lad to go. And then the week after Stockport and Girona. Now, these will be our toughest test. Stockport, although they're a League 2 side, really did well last year, should really be a League 1 side. But they really put the pressure on us. Uh, they really attack us and try and knock us down and try and beat us. Obviously, a good test. And then Girona were playing with League of Opposition, which I don't think is any issue at all. I know it isn't maybe the marquee friendly that we got told we might get and that everyone hoped we'd get, but it's still a really tough test. You know, Girona last time when they come to you will give us a good go and they're probably a better side now. So we're looking at six fixtures that will give Rovers everything they need. The first two will give us fitness. You know, the 60 minutes at Aki and the 90 minutes at Hartberg will give us real fitness there. And in the remaining four games, I think will give us a test on how we actually play, getting that playing style back to how we want it. I think the second half of last season, Rovers were very good in games that we lost at times. And I think this will give us the chance to build into getting the performance and the result mixed together. Obviously, pre-season is about fitness. Results do matter. And I know people get concerned when we lose to sides that are below us. But it's mainly about getting this squad of 22-23 into the right position to be fit to be doing what we need on the pitch as we head into the season. Obviously, games aren't as fast and quick as they were last year when we get into the actual season. So there'll be a lot of internal games as well. So just because we see six friendlies doesn't mean there's six friendlies. We're probably going to be double figures. So that's one thing to bear in mind as well. But I'm really excited for pre-season start. Like I said, I'll be at Stanley. I should be at the Mall as well. So really looking forward to it. 
you know, let us know down below as well if you're heading to any of them. If you see us say hello, you know, always like speaking to people about Rovers, always want a good chat about it. But that's where we'll round off just a quick video to go over pre season. I think the summary is we'll get the fitness in early on. The players should be up to standard of playing 90 minutes after the first two friendlies, which I think so big. We used to playing 45, aren't we, on a Tuesday and then 45 a Saturday? It'll then give us the test of being pressed and we'll also have enough time on the ball as well to see Rovers playing two ways. Can we play in possession and can we play this counter-attacking football? They'll be the main questions going into the season and I think pre-season addresses it. But that's where we'll round off today. Thank you everyone for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like, do all that stuff. Your support's always appreciated. Let us know your thoughts on the pre-season schedule below. Are you happy with the fixtures? Are you happy with the tests they provide? Who are you looking forward to seeing in pre-season as well? There's a lot for me. I think the new signings are the main ones, but we'll have to wait on Sigurdsson and Transtad. Thank you for watching. Do all the stuff we ask you to normally. Like and comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon for a new video. Thank you for your continued support on this channel, the bulletins, Twitter, everywhere else. We always appreciate it.